Hello, Dr. Jane Spogash, publisher of Modern Health Myths, and today we're going to talk a little bit about snacks, or in other words, what's in your lunchbox. Of course, the past three or four months, that's a little relevant. What's in your lunchbox is more likely what's ever in the refrigerator, which may or may not be, uh, most likely, given what patients have told me, not good options these days. Um, and yet, this concept of what we may have for a snack makes all the difference in the world for how much it helps um, curb your appetite and keep things like glucose uh, sugar levels in control in your bloodstream. And I, um, short of talking about calorie restriction and multiple meals per day, I'm not going to get into that discussion because it's much larger, but in general, healthy snacks have a role to play. But far too often, we pick things that are way too carb-based to satisfy our hunger for very long. Uh, that is things like, um, like fruit. Uh, you know, an apple may not be the best option for a snack versus something that's more protein-based like nuts. I'm a huge fan of nuts with, mixed in with a little bit of dark chocolate. Uh, peanut butter, which technically is considered a ground nut, but still a nut. And, uh, you know, those are things with healthy fats and protein are really good for curbing our hunger. And those are the kind of things we should reach for if we want an afternoon snack, rather than something that is lower quality or higher carb, um, higher carbohydrate. And so this particular study looked at adding a great snack, hummus, now they chose to add it with pretzels, probably maybe not the best option if you can do it with cucumbers or something else. Uh, quite frankly, there's some really good hummuses out there that all they require is a spoon to scoop them up. Um, but they compared it to granola bars for a mid-afternoon snack, so basically three hours after lunch. And keep in mind that there are good and there are evil granola bars. Most of the granola bars that most, uh, most granola bars that people eat are probably crap and junk and should be in the garbage. There are definitely higher quality ones. I happen to be a big fan of Kind Bars just because the ingredients are so simple. I personally don't do granola bars or any type of snack bar like that. Uh, I just usually do nuts and dark chocolate or something along those lines. But this particular study had uh, participants have either a granola bar or hummus with pretzels three hours after lunch. Pretty simple thing to do. Hummus is really readily available, all kinds of flavors. Uh, there's a local restaurant called Pita Jungle that is phenomenal. They have jalapeno cilantro hummus that is probably the best on the planet. And um, you, know, you can eat that stuff straight, so there's no issues with that. So what they found uh, so they did hummus three hours after a meal, a granola bar, or nothing. And they found that the um, hummus de decreased hunger 70% more than did the granola bar. That's pretty surprising. Most people think granola bar is a good snack. But compared to hummus, like they're not even in the same ballpark. But again, with hummus, you have high-quality fat generally coming from olive oil, and you have the protein from the chickpeas. And great combination to curb hunger. I think that's pretty powerful. 70% lower, um, they called it satiety, but your hunger was cut down by 70% with that. The other thing that was um, interesting was that their uh, blood sugar level was also down by 5%. Now that's not great, it's not fantastic, it's not, but it still suggests that the hummus was a better option for a mid-afternoon snack than, than the granola bar or, or, or obviously nothing as an option. So, uh, so again, if you're gonna look for a healthy snack in the afternoon, try some hummus instead of a granola bar or some piece of fruit or 
diet soda or a Coke or a Monster in the afternoon. Those are not even where I would enter into that discussion. So, uh, as always, I will post a link to this particular study in the comments. And make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.